now the first step is to try vulcan in the launcher so launch the game once you launch the game when the launcher is open go to paradox launcher and then go to game settings over here and over here you can see under graphics render and over here you will see vulcan so you can select vulcan and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dx11 and then check uh, for many users uh, selecting launcher has worked so you can try this and then check still not working try these in launch option now for this you can go to steam maker right click on the game go to properties in the launch option you can type in dash vulcan and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dx11 over here and then you can check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working then you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to skip the launcher to skip the launcher go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and this will take you to the game installation folder open the binaries folder you will see the game exe file over here so copy this path this path is like at the top you will see the path so copy this path and you can paste the path somewhere now once you paste the path now you can copy the rest of the path copy this this is provided in the video description and at the end of binaries without any space paste the path over here so it's binaries slash ck3.exe inverted comma space percentage command percentage now copy this inverted comma do not type in from the keyboard copy this so copy this and then at the very beginning just before the drive paste this inverted comma only the inverted comma this one paste it over here and it has to be this one only not from the keyboard and then copy this complete path copy it and then go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and in the launch option paste the complete path over here now close this and then you can click on play this time when you click on play it will skip the launcher it will straight away launch the game so it will just skip the paradox launcher and then it will launch the game so let me close the game i'm not opening the game right now still not working uh, the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then open binaries and then select this exe file click on open and you can even add the launcher if you want you can go back and then open the launcher you can launch now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select open the binaries and then select the game exe file click on open now click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam you can just make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files open the binaries win64 and then launch the game from here so make a double click over here launch the game from here and then check if that does not work then you can make a right click and then go to properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full, full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes 
and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename the save game files now before you rename the save game files create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress when you launch the game you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first to rename the save game files you can open file explorer folder uh, then go, go to documents over here and over here paradox interactive over here you can see the save game files so copy this folder first create a backup so i will just create a backup now once you have a backup for the save game files now you can rename the save game files so just create a backup first so once you have a backup so i created a backup now once you have a backup now you can make a right click and then you can just rename it dot old you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to do not overclock so if you're overclocking your computer then do not overclock uh, you can set the overclocking to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert unit or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then check disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game and then check still not working uh, then close all the other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay now if you have nvidia app running you can open nvidia app go to settings and then you can turn off nvidia overlay if you have any other overlay application running you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users uh, go to uh, first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder binaries and then select the game exe file then click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game over here and then over here you will see gpu preference set it to high performance you will see your graphic card over here select your graphic card now you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual files so you have to install this x86 and x64 so install both x86 and x64 so run this exe file click on repair if you see repair if you see install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete 
make sure both are installed once installed you can close this now restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a Dell computer go to Dell if you have a Lenovo go to Lenovo so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter the charger is connected to the computer during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update we'll log into the computer and then launch the game Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. If you have underworld 3D computer, remove the underworld and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, Install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive, or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.